In celebration of 420, we're gonna take a look at the cadavers and see if we can figure out what's going on with some of the common side effects of cannabis consumption, such as dry mouth, red eyes, and of course, the munchies. So, let's do this. First thing you need to understand is that THC and CBD are examples of what are called cannabinoids. Or is it cannabinoids? I still don't know how to properly say that, but regardless, these cannabinoids are found inside of cannabis, but there are over 100 known cannabinoids and THC and CBD are just two of them. THC being the psychoactive one, CBD being the non-psychoactive one. Now you have to understand that these cannabinoids are going to bind to receptors on the outside of cells called cannabinoid receptors. And they are part of this larger system called the endocannabinoid system. And there's still so much we need to learn about this endocannabinoid system. It's ridiculous. But what that means is when you consume THC or cannabis products, it's not just going to go to your brain. It's going to start interacting with the tissues all over the body. And one of the first tissues it's going to interact with is your heart. So we have a heart here and you're looking at an anterior view. This is going to be the bottom of the heart. This is the top of the heart. And you can also see that we've made some incisions so we can see inside of the heart itself. But what's going to happen is THC is going to start accelerating the heart rate when you first consume it. And as that happens, you are going to get an increase in blood pressure. So this blood vessel right here is the ascending aorta. This is the largest blood vessel in the body. I mean, it's the size of a garden hose. It's ridiculous, but you're going to get an increase in blood pressure. But after, I don't know, like five, 10, 15 minutes or so, the heart rate is actually going to lower and that is going to give you lower blood pressure. And the thing is, when you have lower blood pressure, that means less blood is getting to certain areas of the body. And if that happens in the eyes, well, the eyes have a ridiculous amount of these CB receptors, right? These, cannab these cannabinoid receptors. But also the blood vessels inside of the eyes also have a bunch of these cannabinoid receptors on them. So THC will also bind to them. And when you have that lower blood pressure, what will happen is the capillaries are going to start to dilate. By dilating, more blood is able to get inside. But what that also means is it starts to kind of like pool because you're actually, because again, you have low blood pressure. So as it's pooling and there's more of it there, the eyes start to become red. And that's why you don't get these red eyes right off the bat. It's not like you, you take your hit and then, you know, your eyes are ridiculously red. It takes a little bit of time to actually happen. Another common side effect of cannabis use is going to be dry mouth. Now, in order to understand that, we got to figure out, well, what lubricates the mouth in the first place? So if we take a look at this dissection here, this is going to be a little strange and maybe a little difficult to wrap your mind around. But if I pull this here, you're looking at a portion of the tongue that's been cut and we're now moving into the voice box. Well, its real name is the larynx. And just below it, we have this purple gland here called the thyroid. And then below that, we have the trachea or your windpipe. And then hiding behind it is this long tube here known as the esophagus. And we can even see a nerve dangling back here. But what we wanna focus on is this thing right here. So what I'm holding is a salivary gland. Specifically, this is called the submandibular salivary gland. And as its name suggests, it's going to produce saliva. So you actually have six total salivary glands. You have two by the ear, two right here around the jawline, and then two underneath your tongue. Well, what they do is they secrete saliva into your oral cavity or your mouth. And saliva serves a variety of different purposes, including lubrication, but it also has digestive enzymes in there to help break down things like starch. But what you have to understand is that this has a ton of cannabinoid receptors on it. So THC will bind to the, uh, the salivary gland and then downregulate down its production of saliva. So as you're not secreting saliva, and if I Hopefully you can see this, do my best. Yeah, you can see there's some ducts there. So what'll happen is you're not actually transporting saliva through those ducts into the oral cavity. And what you end up with is dry mouth. So here's the thing. We used to think for a long time that both dry mouth and red eyes were a product of smoke itself. I mean, that kind of makes sense. If you think about it, the smoke is 
flowing up and floating up into the eyes. It's going throughout the mouth. It's hot. It's dry. That makes sense that that would be the case. But once we started consuming cannabis products that weren't smoke related, so like edibles, for example, people were still getting dry mouth and people were still getting red eyes. And that told us there was something else at play here. There really is so much still to learn about the endocannabinoid system, but it is cool to see that it's not just about irritating it with products like smoke, it's literally just the cannabinoids themselves. But we now need to talk about the most famous of probably all the side effects, and that's everyone's favorite, the munchies. So you're looking at a bisected head that's been cut in the mid-sagittal plane, which allows us to see so many different structures like the nasal septum, this really cool piece of tissue here called the falx cerebri, the corpus callosum, uh, the brain stem, and the cerebellum back here is just stunning to look at. But we want to focus right here. This area that's not really all that noticeable that I'm tracing with my probe is what's called the hypothalamus. And this hypothalamus is extremely important because you can kind of think of it like a thermostat of sorts. And what it's doing is it's monitoring many different areas of the body to make sure they don't go too, like they're not functioning at a too high of a level or too low of a level. It's, it's like it's literally bringing things back into balance. Now, inside of the hypothalamus, if we go back here, inside of that hypothalamus are these tiny little neurons. And by tiny, I mean microscopic, so I can't show you right here. But what uh, those neurons are called POMC neurons. And POMC neurons are responsible for feeling full. So when that neuron gets stimulated, you literally just go, oh, okay, it's time to stop eating. Well, here's the interesting part. THC binds to those CB receptors on the POMC neurons, activating it. You're like, Justin, that doesn't make sense. You just told me that if the neuron fires, I feel full. And now you're telling me that when THC binds to it, it causes it to fire. Doesn't that mean that you just feel more full? Well, that's where things get even more interesting because the THC also goes inside of the neuron and it binds to what's called a mitochondria. Mitochondria are, are ridiculously interesting and maybe we have to do a video on those in the future. But what ends up happening is you also get endorphin creation. And when it's the combination of the endorphins and the firing of the POMC neuron, some weird strangeness occurs that we still don't fully understand and you get hungrier. That's what's going on with the munchies, is it's this strange combination that we're not really fully understanding. Now there's other things at play here. There's other hormones involved, such as leptin and ghrelin. Those are the hormones of also feeling hungry and full. So again, there's still more to figure out, but I mean, that that's what's going on when you're eating an entire bag of chips. The endocannabinoid system is honestly just one of the most fascinating things that I've ever come across. And I'm planning on doing an entire video specifically on the endocannabinoid system. But I also wanna do a lot more, well, maybe not a lot more, but some more THC and CBD and cannabis related videos because at least here in the United States, it's becoming legalized both medicinally and recreationally pretty much all over the place. And that means people are gonna be consuming it at a higher rate. And I wanna make sure that people are educated as to what is going on to your with your body as you're consuming these products. So I'd be curious to see what you would want or you'd be interested in seeing yourself. So be sure to leave a comment below saying, hey, I'd like to see this or see that, or give me those ideas because I need your ideas. I need your help. But this was a really fun video to film. I hope every single one of you have a great 420. And if you are one of those who's partaking of cannabis products, now you know what's going on with your red eyes, your dry mouth, and why exactly you can't stop demolishing that entire bag of chips. But I'll see you in the next video.